tabs that fund and keeps track of it is, is something that she does from the county standpoint. But the fund is the land acquisition fund, conservation land acquisition. Well, I guess you read the Warren article that was passed, so you can tell me the year for that so I can reference it? Well, they've been consistent. I mean, we do this every few years. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I don't have it in front of me. No, okay. I have to go do the research. But you did look it up. I don't have to look it up. I know Oh, so you're telling me it is. Right. Well, according to the RSAs, the Conservation Commission is, is entitled to, under authorization by the town legislature, that is to say town meeting, to create a, quote, conservation fund. And those are in capital letters. Well, the so it's not to be called something else. The conservation else. fund and the land acquisition fund are two different things. That is correct. There is no right. provision for a conservation land acquisition fund in the RSAs. This one article is establishing that. No, it so this is establishing only for the purchase of land. So we understand. What, what, <coughs> there's, there's also nothing in the RSAs that specifically gives a name to any capital reserve fund or anything else. Town meeting makes those designations. When town meeting votes a fund for the uh, appropriation for a conservation land or acquisition fund, that money by law has to go to the treasurer because it's not a general account that's mm -hmm. authorized by the Department of Revenue but only authorized by town meeting. It has to be held by her. The conservation fund is authorized by the general statutes, and there are very specific funds, namely the appropriations not spent in the conservation appropriation are transferred there at the end of the year by law. Right, but there is there is a distinction here in the sense that the Conservation Commission has authority over, sole authority over, the Conservation Fund. Not necessarily. Under the RSAs. Not necessarily. Unless they're granted by some other means. But the RSAs themselves only grant the Conservation Commission uh, control of the Conservation Funds. Only for certain things. Other things have to be ratified by the selectmen. Okay. To be clear, we are not talking about the conservation fund in this Warren article. We That's are. Correct. We are. Well, then the and, conservation. And also <laughs> the conservation. No, I, 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 I want to move what, on. This Warren <laughs> article is that is specifying that if these funds are appropriated, they will be used solely Only. for this specific purpose. Exactly. That's an argument for another time. Tim. Right. Well, then we have we have a problem, Madam Chair, in that we had uh, two different meetings in the spring uh, from the former former finance director and then another meeting with the town treasurer telling us that you know here are the funds conservation land acquisition fund is not on that list I ask about it they tell me it's called the conservation fund so what is what is the truth here as far as it's been brought to this committee uh, I guess the truth varies depending on the time of day or time of year now, this particular fund, this alleged uh, conservation land acquisition fund, which I have no indication actually exists, is this the same fund that you were proposing a couple weeks ago to uh, underwrite the repair of the ice pond dam? Yes. All right. So, you know, and, repairing and, an ice and, pond... And if you'll read the warrant article, it says this fund is used to acquire, maintain, yeah. improve, protect, or limit the fur tree future use of or otherwise conserve and properly utilize open spaces and conservation easements in Hampton. This is the Ice Pond Dam is on open space that is under the auspices of the Conservation Commission. So according to this warrant article, which is the same language that was in the warrant article last year, maintaining these properties comes under the purview of these funds. Yeah, well, I'm not disputing the legality of that particular point, only the fact that we, for some reason, want to call it the Conservation Land Acquisition Fund when we use the money for something other than land acquisition, which is kind of like, a, you know, kind of like a little bit of uh, confusing at, me, at the very least. Additionally, is this the same fund that when the conservation budget, which is not fully expended in a given year, the balance of that fund is not returned to the taxpayers. It's not put in the undesignated fund balance, as is other budget items. <coughs> but your balance, the, that is, say, the Conservation Commission's budget, any balance there is then placed into this fund or the Conservation Fund or both funds or well, either one. I mean, that money is retained under the control of the Conservation Commission, correct? The money's in this fund, correct. And so and it goes in this alleged land acquisition fund. No. No. 
Okay, so it goes into capital, the, the conservation fund. It goes into the conservation fund uh, established by statute. Okay, so we have two funds. One is the conservation fund and one is the conservation land acquisition fund. That's correct. I cannot support this, and I'm done. Thank you. Next. To conserve time, I have no question. <laughs> Same, no questions. I think it's kind of interesting uh, that we went through two um, presentations of all the funds we had, and this was not mentioned, and it was specifically asked. I'm not going to belabor the point, but we got a problem right here in River City. That's all I have. I have no problem. All set, thank you. Good cause. Appreciate it. Okay. Do I have motion? To recommend? I'll recommend it. I, I'll recommend Article 31. I, I think that uh, the Conservation uh, Commission, the people who make up the conservation uh, organization, have done an excellent job. I'll second it. They're trusted, and uh, I think $10,000 to keep the fund together and to allow them to, you know, to do what they've indicated in this article is at a dollar thirty for for a three hundred twenty-five thousand dollar house is is minimal. Okay, I seconded it. Second. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. Very Thank much. you.